hi it's Emilia here I'm coming with a quick video to show you something really lovely I have created those um, air dry clay leaves look at them these are so gorgeous I just love them and I thought I'm going to share uh, the idea with you because maybe you would like to create them as well so for those leaves I'm using the mold this is a plastic or resin mold from 14 craft bar it's a leaf mold and also I am using a 14 craft bar air drying clay extra uh, light this is very very light clay and it dries quite quickly so uh, when you open the clay please keep it in a plastic container so this will uh, prevent the drying so what I do I, you can see I've got a bunch of leaves created here that are drying but the drying times it's like maybe two hours for those leaves so I uh, start with a little ball okay so I'm making a ball oh <laughs> sorry it's gone <laughs> Gosh. Oh. clumsy day I guess okay again I'm starting with a little ball and then I will just make that really flat really really flat and create one pointy end so like a leaf shape but it's it doesn't need to be perfect nothing like that okay so then I'm going to oh, look how thin it is very thin okay the thinner the, the better because I started with quite thick leaves and I wasn't very happy with them so place that on your mold and just press into it do not worry too much about the shape at that point okay so I have it just on my mold and now I'm gently going to remove that look at that what that's amazing so now I am going to squeeze and turn slightly the top of it and then I'm just going to like um, make a better shape so you just need to play with it a little bit maybe like that okay I think that will be okay so now I'm going to leave it I hope you can see it well I'm going to leave it to dry let's go there and I have um, painted one of the leaves already they're still drying so I will uh, paint maybe first I will show you how to paint them so I use uh, metallic acrylic paint it's from Finabar and it's called a uh, dark forest I really really like that color so first oh I need to keep that separately so first uh, what I'm going to do I've got the watercolor pen or you can use the um, brush I mean or you can use the um, brush and the water oh it's still a bit grainy so I'm just going to pour some water here and take a little bit of paint just very very little tiny bit so you just need it to be quite watery okay because then the the paint will nicely go into the veins oh it's not not enough water so I'm just pressing my pen to release more water and you will see that the veins veins of the leaves will be much darker and when I do it like that I'm going to leave it to dry now okay and um, you can also 
take a little bit of more paint and maybe create the edges slightly darker but it's it's like you don't have to do it now because you can always do it uh, when the when the leaf is uh, a little bit dry so I had actually one side of the leaves darker it's not looking so great at the moment but believe me it needs to dry okay so I'm going to move that a little bit and this one needs drying okay then this one is almost dry so to make it slightly better I'm just going to add a little bit more color to it but this time let me just find my ink I will be using ink so I'm using distress ink peeled paint this is lighter green and I want to create some uh, some dimension on my leaves so I'm going to gently just add on the edges and this will create two tone leaf and I think that's it look at that my leaf is ready you can also maybe add more color on the sides so you don't see the white and I'm going to use them I think they'd be great to use on cards because they're very very light I'm going to create uh, to use them on my um, Easter decoration which I'm making and you will be able to see it very soon look this way you've got those two colored leaves when they dry they look much much better this one was a quite a thick one but it's still okay so this is all I wanted to share with you today I am so happy <laughs> with those leaves so please make them as well I'm sure you've got uh, some clay at home most of the people most of the crafters has and if you don't have uh, that mold you can use different one you know it, these molds are maybe uh, used the most with Formiran but as you can see you can use them in different way as well so have a lovely creative day bye take care